Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. Have here a Jaguar to have a look at. Okay, we're just plugging in the diagnostic. Would that mean that it's the sensor in the... Okay, there's an engine management light on this car and it's been to his regular mechanic uh, who said it's a, a DPF issue but he doesn't know how to fix it so uh, we're going to see what we can uh, find out today. I'm going to use the Eurotab 3 from launch, do a scan. So this is a 2018 3 liter TDV6 diesel. Uh, we're going to do this one, high speed scan. So in the engine we have NOx exceedance, particulate filter pressure sensor performance, particulate filter pressure sensor too low. Let's go in and have a look. Live data. those two items so we have a four reading at idle so four on these would be 40 millibars uh, so it just goes in one two three four it doesn't give you any sort of more accurate readings than that so we're going to give it a, a rev up to 3000 rpm actually let me go back and so I don't have to keep moving the uh, machine we'll just get the engine speed up it might be under RPM, we'll find it anyway. Okay, there's the RPM. So we're going to increase the revs. Alright, so that's a bit weird, it's not moving. You can see the voltage is changing slightly, but the pressure isn't increasing with the revs, so we've we could have a broken DPF, we could have uh, broken pipes that lead to the pressure sensor, or we could have a faulty pressure sensor as well. Okay, I'm just going to show you what the engine is. Um, as far as I know, the pressure sensor is under the car, so we're going to have to lift that up. We're not going to see it up here, but uh, this is the engine that we're looking at. This is the sports model as well, so it is really low to the ground, so we're going to have have a little bit of struggle getting under here, but we'll we'll manage it. So we've got the car raised up, just trying to get the sensor off. So the sensor on these is above the gearbox, up there. I would love to sort of show you how I've changed that, but it's, uh, there's not much workspace down here. Okay, so I've managed to get that out. As usual, it comes out with the insert. Um, so we know we've got the old sensor out and the old plug is working. I couldn't really video that bit as it's a bit tight under there. Okay, so we've got now with this sensor on a reading of 11. We can see that when we increase the revs, it doesn't really change. Only very slightly. But this is a aftermarket sensor, so I'm not very confident, confident with it. So it only goes up by a couple of millibars is very strange not something I've seen very often okay so I'm using a digital meter here to confirm what the pressures are in the DPF so we're getting a very similar reading on here except for when we increase the revs see there's a big change so I can see that with the pressure sensor disconnected the one that is before the DPF we've still got a 10 reading coming from after the DPF so it looks like we have a blockage not 
with in the well we have a bit of a blockage in the DPF it's at 14 millibars but after the DPF we've still got a pressure of 10 So we can see after the DPF, when we hold the revs up about 2500, we've got a reading of about 50 millibars. So I'm just trying to figure out at the minute, is it because after the DPF we have a looped pipe that crosses back over here? Is that what's giving us pressure there? Uh, have we got a block catalyst or is it this motorised flap back here that's maybe stuck, stuck closed a bit? Okay, so this is one of the issues we've got here is this is the old sensor that came off the car um, This is the replacement that's on there now. We've got a 7 reading which is 70 millibars when the car engine is off so I don't know if we've got an issue with the sensor So we're gonna get that swapped over Okay, so we've had to get hold of this sensor. Uh, it has taken a couple of days. So we uh, have to come back and just start now, we'll start again. Okay, now we've got the second sensor on there. Uh, it's a genuine sensor as well. We now have the correct reading on the live data. Engine is running. put a flush through it we've already done that just to make sure that any back pressure that was after the DPF is cleaned out okay so we have four grams of soot we have a zero pressure reading and the readings are all correct now at the right rpms so I'm happy that this is all okay now okay so this was recorded over a few days I'll have to look at some of the other clips but I hope I've fitted everything in um, and I hope the video makes sense basically because I'm, I've lost track of where I was so hopefully uh, yeah it all makes sense and I'll see you on the next video.